coal dominated the Ruhr Valley in Germany. With a large number of employees working in the mines and a mine in nearly every town, you simply couldn't go around the presence of this industry. The mines have gone defunct nowadays and are disappearing quickly. In this two-part series we will explore two different mining sites, which was part of one of the biggest mining systems in Germany. Discover what remains of this once proud industry. We will start our adventure at the original complex of the large coal mining company. A huge complex stood here back in the day. Just several buildings remain nowadays. Our main objective was to get in the machine house of the former mine. So let's try to find the entrance. We finally got inside after a tight squeeze. Right now we are standing in a dark basement of the plant. The basement was filled with pipes and other miscellaneous machines in its heyday. Today it's totally stripped though, so with that we started walking to the main floor. Right now we are on a level where machines would be housed. The machines remaining are three sets of air compressors. And two sets of emergency diesel generators. The two diesel generators are still in pretty good condition. Let's start with a bit of history. The construction of the mine started back in the 1910s. At that time a deep shaft was dug with its wooden head frames. After the shaft was completed, the wooden head frames were replaced by steel head frames. And the mine was truly taking shape. Even a machine house was already built at that time. The first years were hard due to the bad economy of Germany after World War I. The production was relatively stable though, which meant that the mine could slowly expand further. We continue with the history later in the video. First we wanted to see one truly stunning highlight of this building. Located next to the air compressors was a glass paint room, which housed a stunning control room. The function of this room was mostly to operate the air compressors and to manage the electricity to the whole complex. The last time these machines were used were over 20 years ago. Most of the heavy industry in Germany was in shambles after the war. The period of reconstruction had truly started. What was priority number one was to rebuild the heavy industry. This reconstruction was mostly powered by coal. This meant a large scale modernization in nearly all the mines. New machines got installed, the mines were mechanized and a brand new power station was constructed. In the beginning of the 1960s, the complex really transformed into a large-scale mining complex. With this there were also other complexes extracted around the area, which were all connected via the underground mines. More on that later. We pretty much covered the old machine house, 
So let's head to one of the next buildings. That clink like it. Two of the old hoisting buildings were still standing and were also abandoned since the beginning of the 2000s. Just one building was accessible, so let's check out that one. When inside, we already saw the foundation of one of the large lift motors. This right here is the large hoisting engine. This engine lifted tons of raw coal from the mines 900 meters underground. What you may notice though is that not a lot of machines look that old compared to the rest of the site. This can be traced back to the last chapter of the coal mine. This chapter started in the 80s. At this time the last true investments were made in this coal mine. The last investment was to modernize shaft 1 to reach the immense depth of over a thousand meters. For this, shaft 1 was rebuilt and the equipment inside the motor house was replaced by new machines. A new control room was also installed. You can somewhat see it as one last effort to save the already aging mining complex. In a sector which was also slowly decreasing. After the modernization, the facility's coal output increased. Just 10 years after the large modernization, something truly tragic happened. On a summer day, three maintenance workers were repairing one of the machines, 900 meters underground. During the repairs, methane gas and coal powder caught fire, causing an explosion in the death of the three maintenance workers. After this tragic event, the future of the aging mine really started to become bleak. Two years after the accident, the mine was closed permanently, which meant an end to the over 19 year old history of this mine. The demolition was started not long after the closure. Although coal is probably not the best idea to still use as fuel, we have to face the fact that complexes like these power the construction of our modern world. This was all possible by the courageous work of the many miners who have dedicated their entire lives inside the dark tunnels of the mines. In the next episode we will explore one of the 60s expansions, which was also part of this mine. Stay tuned and discover the hidden past of this large, still completely intact example of the German deep coal mining industry. Do you want to see early previews on what's coming next to the channel? If that's the case, follow the official Instagram page or Facebook page of Forgotten Buildings. Check it out at Forgotten Buildings.